I mean, that's like the only reason I brought you here is so that you, that you would do like a genius bass Dude, rap I ain't off the top of the dome piece. I ain't, I, ain't been, I ain't been rapping lately, ever since I got sued by Eminem. Got There in the light. There <laughs> You know what that is right there? I don't need it. Good morning, YouTube. Well, it may not be morning for you. It's morning for us. Hey, YouTube. It's never morning for this guy. He's always on fire. We are at Lake Palestine today. The Stein, baby. The Stein. We're finna go into Flat Creek. Flat Creek. Flat What's Creek. going on back in Flat Creek, honey? Um, a lot of things. The shad are spawning. The fish are kind of done spawning. I think there's. I still think there's a few on beds. Um, mostly post spawn fish. Uh, the shatter, shatter jumping around. We're gonna go throw some frogs. It's sloppy. It's nasty. I fished a little derby out here yesterday. I only caught 19 pounds, but I never got a big bite. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of hoping that big bite's just waiting for today. We're gonna go out here this morning, post spawn, a little bit of spawn. It's Ronnie Kelly. First time you guys have seen. I've known this guy for years. This is the first time y'all seen him on the channel. I'm gonna tell you what. Stretch your jaw muscles out. Make sure you got some braces for your abdomen. <laughs> Cause you're about to laugh. We're finna do it to it. Drop the hammer, brother. Let's go get them. <laughs> he came up and smelled it first. He sucked on it, didn't he? Yeah, he did. He came up and sniffed at it. Take a little sniff at it first. There you go, brother. Remember, you know. Ronnie, you on the juice, son? We on that, we on that frog bite, dog. <laughs> hey, you gotta show that to the camera next time, Hammer. All right. <laughs> oh, he was just licking on it, though. That one was licking on it. He didn't sniff it. He licked it. Don't be licking cowboys. You got it, brother. That's a decent one. Oh, see the camera? Right to the camera. See camera? <laughs> see the <that> camera? <laughs> Watch my ear hole, too. Camera. <laughs> Number three. Dog, oh, they're going crazy. The longest I've gone without talking. <laughs> <laughs> that was, What's bad? What makes it so funny? Is that, that was true. That dude. was the most <laughs> awkward silence I've ever had in my 33 years of life. <laughs> I'm glad you got it on video. Dude, I, I'll save the gas net. I caught one in the back of the gas net yesterday. I set the hook and I was like, man, I ain't doing this. I, I put my, I went like this and picked my trolling motor on high and drug it from here all the way over there. <laughs> and, then, and then all I had was just a big ball of goop. <laughs> I kicked my truck. I, I reeled up the slack as I went back to it when I got it out. <laughs> I've never even heard of some shit like that. Dude, I, I did. I, I saw that fish rolling. I made up my mind. I'm like, I'm going to catch him, but I ain't no real in it. Got him, Mark Kelly. You got a friend with him. Oh, wait, man. Oh, come on, come on, come on. This is the kind of line. That's a good one. Oh boy. Oh bottom lipper. Look, look at that belly. Eating them shad though. Oh yeah. Old shad spawner. Good job, brother. Okay. And then he drove the fish in, I net it. I net it. Go on red? Oh red. So I net that fish. And I throw it back or uh but old red was the dangest frog. 
I had ever seen. Little guy, but he swallowed it. I think you picked the right frog, Ronnie. And, uh... yeah. Oh, quickly. So, that's a good one. No, no. 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 You're bigger than one I have. Right here, right in the head. Double piece. Basically, if you're watching, if you're watching, mm. oh, well, I don't know if I'm gonna put that frog down. <laughs> you go, brother. What's going on there, R. Kelly? Man, my transducer come off. Let's see what you're talking about. All right, I'm finna teach y'all how to put your transducer back on. You see this tape right here? You're gonna want to take that off. That's the old tape. That was the the. But hold that tight. is the official East Texas Ronnie Kelly uh, transducer bracket. Yeah, but hold tight, guys. You got You want to save this, okay? You want to save this because what you're gonna do with this is you're gonna use this to hold it while you put your new tape on. See like that right there? It's got it in place. All right. Now watch here, folks. <laughs> Coming at you live from Lake Palestine. Oh, dude, we're out of tape, brother. Hold yeah. tight, hold tight. Scratch that, scratch that. Here. Here's something new. I'm going to show you all this. I don't know how you do it right here. This is secret stuff that not, well, not, none of the pros will ever show you this. This is, this is how you do it, folks. Put a piece of plastic on my thumb. You gonna take this up here, right here. See this? Bring it up like this. See how it's going right there? Hold tight, Billy. Don't fall in. Where's that tape? Right, see this tape right here? Take this tape and go just like this. I don't go around showing everybody my secrets. That's right here, something I learned from my granddad after Vietnam. Right there, folks, that's it. Right there. there you go. When you're frogging, you don't need your graph, so it don't really matter. <laughs> that's it, folks. Nobody needs a transducer today. No, sir. Top secret stuff, folks. You can only find that on Billy Lawson's YouTube channel. Your Lake Fort Guide, baby. Hey, so that was the breakage of the official uh, transducer bracket, and then what you saw was the, uh, that's the official East Texas transducer day saver. Yeah. Because see, now we don't got to worry about the transducer getting ripped off. We don't use grass. When you're shallow water, you got to turn all that clicking off. <laughs> Are you going to catch another frog fish? I'm going to give it my best. Hey, I got to get us unhung off this stump. Hold tight. <laughs> you can video this. If another you want. fine point of East Texas bass fishing right here. Stay tuned, folks. Watch here. Here's what you do. <laughs> My buddy ordered this boat. He got it with four-wheel drive. Billy's got it live. No, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> My swimmate's still out there in the lake. There he is. <laughs> oh, only here on your Lake Fort Guide. Mm. See that bird got bit on the cast behind the staff. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen them coots and they're in the water and they jump? <laughs> It's spawning bass biting them on the toes. <laughs> it is, dog. Oh it's my god. Bass going, get off the shit. Look, he got bit again. Look, he got bit again. There's a bass on I bet you a blue store burrito, I'm about to go catch one of that. Let's say you're going to catch that fish that just beat your frog? What you got, Kelly? Is that a bass? That's a bass. That's a pretty good one. That's a yeah. standard issue in here, ain't it? That's all we're catching today, boy. Standard issue. That's all we're catching. I, I use my x-ray vision sunglasses to see that one. X-ray vision sunglasses? X-ray, the water vision sunglasses. Water vision. Oh, cowboy. Cowboy. Cowboy's getting the job Look done. At Look here. You gotta get some of that slop, baby. You know what that is right there? I don't either. <laughs> but I know that's gator grass. Gator grass. You know what I need now? Gotta get hey, that folks, towel. 
folks, folks at home. Patent folks pending, at home. Ronnie Kelly, East Texas don't, Town. Hey, don't forget your, <laughs> don't forget your frog and towel. Patent pending, right there. Good job, brother. Did you bit at it? Did you see that? I think that was me. What? Well, yeah, dude, that's my secret. That'll be good on camera. So, we've been up here frog fishing all morning. That was a lot of fun. Ronnie put on a clinic. Absolute freaking clinic. Frog fishing. But he said he knows the one good one down here on Palestine. He saw her yesterday in that tournament. I, caught, I, I got down after the tournament. tournament. Well, I came over here after this tournament. After it was over, and I saw this big one on a bed. And I'm like, you know what, man? I'm just going to save this fish for tomorrow when my there buddy comes is. out. So, we're fixing these over here. He says she should be real catchable real easy. So, I'm going to let Ronnie get after her, and I'm going to hold the camera. We're going to see what happens. Is she right here? Right here. All right, let's see how it goes. Got her. Got oh, her. man. Foul hooker? Foul hooker. God dang, God, dude. Dog. She was moving the bait. I seen her. That sucks. That's okay. She's pretty on camera. Okay. That's not even the big one, I don't think. Dang, I'm not gonna boat flip her, dude. I'm no, not with that foul hook, no. Dang it, girl, I'm sorry. Try to ease it out of her. Yeah, that is her. That's a better one. Crap! Is See, this happens sometimes, though, when you're sight fishing. Yeah, I just didn't mean to. Sorry, girl. Well, she's on there. There's two more fish on there. It looks like she's she's getting ready to pop there. Pretty <laughs> fish. I got her in the side of the head. Didn't, honestly, didn't mean to. So, on that fish right there, I mean, when you're sight fishing, this is obviously you guys can see how dirty that water is, right? Well, I saw her. I saw her nudge down on it. And she, yeah, she hit it. I we're felt seeing a hard hit, and, I said, and we're seeing we're just seeing shadows. We can't see these fish clear as day or anything. So when you feel a thump and then your line starts swimming off, what are you gonna do? You're gonna set the hook, and that just happened to get her in the back. And so to answer everybody's question, if I were in a tournament and I caught this fish, go would on. I throw it back? Yes, I've done. Yeah, it. You have to go right back in. I caught a seven seven pounder, almost eight pounder with Eric Lesnar. In a tournament at Lake Tyler, and I had to throw it back. Just got to go right back in. That's the rules. That's her. No, that's her. That's the other big one that was in there. It's a different fish. Oh, that's a different one. It's a different fish. Look at it. Go ahead and know it's a male. Man. Right? That ain't, that's not urine. You know what that is? <laughs> I know exactly what that is. <laughs> they call that the jolly juice. He's got quite a bit of it. He's jacked up the females in there with him. And we're going to put this one right back because we got to get back in there and catch the next one, right? That's it. Thank you, Ronnie. Well, all right, guys. That's the end of our day. We're calling it early. We, we needed to have an early day. We couldn't. Yeah. It's so hard to schedule these schedules this, this time of year with guys that fish like you and me. Uh, we had about a half a day today. And so here we are midday. We're going to fix the call quits. And, man, thank you. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, dude. I enjoyed the heck out of watching you just bust some heads on frogs. <laughs> and then having that bed fish set, it worked out. You said there was one in there. There ended up being a couple in there. Yeah, there's three in there. Three uh, in there. And I saw that one yesterday afternoon. Decided it would be a good one for today yeah. to do on the show. Yeah, that's an unfortunate deal that you foul hooked that fish. But, you know, that does happen. It actually happened to me a couple weeks ago, too. And the viewer saw it. And, yeah, honestly, that foul hook that y'all saw, I mean, I know this sounds like a cop-out, but that was the only foul hook sight fish for me this year, and that's the only one you've had in a while, too. We were just talking about that. Yeah, it's been a couple of years since I've, I've yeah. foul hooked, but you know, the deal is, when that fish, when she nose down on it, I could see a white side, and then I felt that hard. Well, when you feel that thump in that line, I even you saw your line move. Yeah, when you so. feel it, and then the line moves, I mean, you're going to set the hook, yeah. and uh, sometimes it happens like that, but hey, Still a fun fish to catch. Still, you know. Yeah, man. Shoot, yeah. Just absolutely. East Texas bass fishing. Lake Palestine. Yeah. Just another one to add to the list of awesome East Texas fisheries. Lake Palestine's good, man. I like to fish tournaments out here. I do I do some guided fishing trips out here. I haven't done any yeah. this year, but I'm, I'm fixing to start. We're going to link everything. If you look down below, Ronnie's phone number will be linked below. So check that out. I don't out. have a website. I haven't, I haven't guided in a while, so I don't have a website. You can hit me up on Facebook. Ronnie Kelly. R-O-N-N-I-E-K-E-L-L-E-Y. They call me Captain Ron. We do it dirty. That's right. Find them links below. Uh, as far as what we caught them on today, Ronnie did all this. Show them that frog, Ronnie. Show, we showed it to him earlier. Let's show it to him one more time. I'm throwing a popping frog. It's a spro frog. Probably nothing special. The color's 
I don't actually know the, the color. It's got a silver belly. And, and, and the reason I'm throwing it is because I know a lot of these bass are, are bedding up there. And so when those bass are bedding, the, 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 the arch nemesis of a bass on the bed is a bluegill. And so I got, I got some purple and black and a little blue in these legs. And so that's kind of the deal. People talk about the belly and all that. And I think that has something to do with it. But this is what they see. This is hanging down. They see this. That's what's flopping around. Yeah, so they see yeah. this. And that water is a little bit dirty. And I think blue and purple show up really good. Didn't catch her yesterday. So I got just a today. couple bites on that old yellow belly. Same frog, spro popping frog. Same frog, and that's uh, and that's a bright color and that dirty water. That I think yellow makes a difference. To me, that yellow kind of does the same thing on the bluegill deal. A little different, you know. We got all different and, kinds and of brands. Let's and talk about rods. I know you're throwing a, a, a limit rod, and that's a seven four heavy, and it's the same thing. I'm not throwing a limit, but I'm throwing a seven four heavy action rod. What do you think about that limit? You threw it. Man, I think it's a great rod, Billy. Pretty good rod. Yeah. I know you've got your personal preference and all this. You kind of picked it up, made a couple casts with it, but that no, seven four heavy—that's the real deal I for a frog, it's right? I think it's perfect. That seven four heavy is perfect for a frog. On sight fishing, I'm using a seven two medium heavy, and both of those techniques. It's important that you have some power, but it's important that you have some tip, and those rods are just a perfect blend. So, if you yeah. guys are interested in a rod, you know what these retail for? I have no clue, dude. One twenty nine to one forty nine. Stop. Seriously. That's a good looking pole too. That is, it's sharp, it's attractive to look at, it, it looks just looks bad really A. Bad. I mean, I really yeah. don't know how else to say it. I try not to cuss on the channel, but that is one bad A rod right yeah. there. That's and uh, nasty. to be the quality it is and, and the way it's built, the components is made up for 129 to 149, it, I just don't know there's a better value out there. So if you're looking for a new rod, before you buy one, if you have a chance to get by the store in Emory, Texas at Lake Fork Tackle, check out Limit 5 Series Rods, best rod deal on the market. I think so. That's a good deal. So, a little bit of grass, a lot of bass, and a whole lot of fun, man. It was a good time, man. Good time. Some sloppy fishing, some some sloppy frogging. Sloppy frogging. That's what we do. Ain't nothing wrong with that, brother. That's what we do. Ronnie, thanks again. Appreciate it so much, man. Yeah, You're the dude, best. Thanks dude. for coming out. We've been wanting to do this for a long time. Finally yeah. got it. Hopefully, we'll do it again soon. We appreciate you guys watching. As always, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up. If you want to see more, subscribe. Close hey. enough one, brother. Take care of my boy, Billy Lawson. <laughs> this is my dude. Y'all go check out his channel. Hey, boogers. No, do I have the red lips from my Powerade? Not bad. Are my Not feet bad. still crooked? They just look delicious. <laughs> they just look delicious. Hey, so here got Matter and Heck. Send his attorney over there. I took a, <laughs> I, hey, I took a fish and he's now a customer. Where did you take us, Ronnie Kelly? Hey, dude, look at this boat ramp. Look at this awesome interest in this boat ramp we went to this. this is, there's an empty slab, some broke down sign that ain't got nothing on it. This is where you go to buy meth. This is where you go to buy meth. I mean, we, this is as far as bass fishing goes, this is as hood as it gets right here. <laughs> this is hooded out bass fishing. <laughs> this Lake Palestine, Captain Ron, hooded out guide service. Captain Ron, Big Bass, Lake Fort, Lake Palestine, Big Earl's Pond. Big largemouth bucket head guided excursions, baby. Guided excursions. Burritos from the blue store. Do your bass have big bucks, baby? I can't lie. <laughs> he likes big guts. He cannot lie. Your mother guys can't deny. You put a flip on kick down in them roots and get, get, did I get wrong? I want to set the hook and lean on back. Just really it. Just really it. Uh, Even back to the guy in the shop. Uh, Baby got gird. <laughs> you're the one supposed to be rapping. You're going to get sued. <laughs> I'm going to get sued. Yeah, oh, no.